Hey, my name is Will. Uh, I'm Will Benson of Benson Blades, and uh, this is Harlan of Oak Forge. Together we've collaborated and built these uh, Balasong models, which uh, I titled the other night. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, they're the Planarian. Yes. After the Planarian flatworm. Yes. And that's because of my, uh, my tang design right here with the horns and the, and the way the pivots are positioned, it looks like the head of a, of a flatworm, which is a weird creature. Um, and I thought it was a fun name. This is one of the three prototypes, uh, actually four, including Harlan's, that um, we made for the show. This one is, uh, this is one of three that was pretty much all done by me, um, but I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without Harlan's shop and knowledge as a knife maker in general and funding. But yeah, I designed these three protos. Um, I'm a flipper and longtime collector of balasongs. So, uh, you know, I've spent the past about seven years collecting and flipping, and it was time for me to make my own. It's been a long time dream of mine. And Harlan here has always been getting requests from customers over the years to build a balasong. And so when he found out that I was a big balasong flipper and nerd, um, we knew that we could work together to produce some really cool knives that, uh, that perform well from my standpoint of being able to manipulate the knife. Um, and also, you know, a good, usable, uh, you know, utilitarian knife. And uh, number one, uh, Weehawk. These are the two that are left. Um, they're both sporting AEBL stainless blades, uh, grade five titanium handles, and they're um, they're what you what's known in the Balsong world as sandwich design versus a channel design. So two separate slabs that are held together by a spacer in the middle, as opposed to a channel, which is you know a single integral piece of titanium that gets milled or cast. And then these uh, have Zen pins versus Tang pins, which are the two. Well, actually now there's a pinless design, but those were the two primary methods of how the the blade stops on the handles when this little horn right here hits the pins and locks them in place. Um, these are, this is a personal preference on what you like better. I like Zen pins and the way they look, I don't really like the look of Tang pins protruding on the knife blade. So that's what I decided to go with. Um, and they're running on a bushing system, which is a steel collar around the pivot of the knife, which provides you the ability to tune play out of the handles. Because the last thing you want is for your blade to be rubbing against the inside of the handles and messing up that nice stone wash. <laughs> spent all that time getting. But if you look at like an old, this is an old Benchmade knife, you'll see this is just running on standard pivots and you see the amount of flex that's going on there. And that's versus a bushing system with, you know, pretty minimal play. And guys also use bearings a lot, which is, you know, the best way to get zero play in a knife like this is to use bearings. But um, as a flipper, bearings are sometimes too smooth on a balasong. The bushing system provides like the right amount of friction. Uh, a bearing driven knife can just fly so wildly that it can just fly out of your hand and it doesn't respond as accurately. So that's why I decided to go with bushings and yeah. Really tried, I know, put a lot of thought into the design and the materials and um, right now they're a little bit on the heavy side. I'd like to bring down the weight a little. I mean, everyone has their own personal preference about weight and these kinds of knives, but these are right at around five and a half ounces. I'd like to get that around five, 4.7 ounces. So if you're unfamiliar, this is, this is what people do who collect these kinds of knives. It's uh, the Balasog is traditionally a Filipino design um, and it got integrated into Filipino martial arts. Um, and from there, uh, Benchmade is really responsible for uh, popularizing the balasong or butterfly knife within the United States. They're the ones who modernized the design basically and brought it over from Asia and made it popular in the US. And in the past decade, it's really blown up and there's a lot of new makers. And you'll see a lot of people here at the show making these and a lot of kids flipping them and that's how I got into it. These prototypes are available right now. Um, 
Uh, I sold one this morning. Um, there, I am working through my Instagram right now. So at, at Benson Blades is where you can find me or you can shoot me an email. But since these are a collaboration with Oak Forge, he has a website, uh, oakforge.com. And he also runs through his Instagram as well. And the both of us are hoping to produce a lot more of these now that we now that we have some prototypes done, we can really dial in all the specifications, the weight, and get them really, really to an awesome point and try and provide some more sweet ballot songs for the community.